Hey guys, uh, my name is Brady. And uh, I'm Ivy. And this is Ivy. Um, we've been thinking uh, for a long time that we wanted to start a channel of some sort, uh, mostly an automotive or off-road or something to do with cars. So we were out here on this adventure today uh, at these old buses and uh, decided where better to start now uh, than now. So. <clears throat> Um, uh, so we live in, in Sparks, Nevada. Um, I, uh, am originally from Vancouver, Washington, so from the Northwest, um, grew up always loving cars, um, big, big car guy, um, have had a ton of them, um, mostly old cars though. When I met Ivy, uh, four or almost four years ago now, um, we, we got more into the off-road stuff cause that's her passion. Uh, so, um, now, uh, that's kind of our thing, I guess. Um, and we have this sweet rig behind us that we'll tell you a little bit more about. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so I'm Ivy. I'm originally from Lake Tahoe, California, and I moved to Sparks about like seven or eight years ago. And, uh, like Brady said, met him about four years ago. I've always been into cars in the off-roading world. Um, living in Tahoe, I did a lot of off-roading around like the Cross or Boca area growing up. Um, just driving fast, being a stupid kid, wrecked my Subaru into a tree, you know, all that good stuff that dumb teenagers do. Uh, <laughs> so this rig that we're sitting on right here, this is Suzanne. This is a 1990 Toyota pickup. Um, as you can see, we have a rooftop tent on it. We actually just put that on this weekend. Um, we got this rack from my work. It's a modular roof rack. We'll, we'll do a video around a different video of a walk around of the truck as well, but just going over little things. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. super fun. We're excited uh, to, to share everything with you guys, our adventures. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff to the truck. Uh, we got another rig at home that we're going to show you uh, that Ivy has built over quite some time. Been building. Been, Doesn't work been yet. Building. <laughs> <laughs> been Keith. building soon. Close. Uh, and this is uh, Roscoe and Bear. Uh, they're running around here with us. They are they're always with us. Trail companions. Yep. Seven year old lab and a uh, almost three year old, two and a half year old uh, Mexican street dog, literally. Yeah. Like <laughs> Craigslist find. He's a bunch of different things. Uh, he's a good boy, though. So um, yeah, they're always with us. Um, but yeah, uh, we're excited. So right now we are in um, northern Nevada, um, just east of Reno, a little northeast of Reno, a little bit um, on a trail out here. Where this is kind of the end feature. Uh, looks like there's some more stuff behind us that you can wheel. I uh, haven't really checked it out yet. There's also some cool mines down the road. Um, this is actually kind of a big valley, um, just on the other side of the hills from here in the place. So that's where we're at now, and this is the start. Of, I don't know what the name is. What's uh, this yeah. is the start of it, guys. The start of it. We'll, <laughs> we'll figure, we'll it figure out. that we'll out figure and let out. you know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, so here we are uh, next to Suzanne, um, and we're gonna kind of break it down a little bit for you. Our Ivy is gonna break it down a little bit for you. I'm gonna jump behind the camera a little bit. Um, so yeah, here we go. Take a look. All right, so this is Suzanne. Like we said, it's a 1990 Toyota pickup. It has the three point slow V6 in it. We got it um, probably like six months ago now, something like that. Um, this is my daily driver. Actually runs great for us. It doesn't like the cold weather, but we just let it warm up and we get over that. Um, it's on a four inch rough country lift at the moment on 35s that will all be changing we are solid axle swapping this rig i have almost everything to do that except for the money that now is needed for the labor and all that fun stuff but uh like i said this roof rack this is a modular bed rack from relentless fabrication they currently don't have these but they will be making them available again and also i want to make it very clear that they do not make one of these for our pickups this one is a tacoma one that i did a little bit of drilling and working around and it's not a perfect fit but for me it's perfect and i'm absolutely in love with how it looks uh, we added some lights back here that are operational for either backing up when we're off-roading or 
lighting up for camp, whatever we need them for, they're there. Eventually I will add more lights and upgrade those as well. Those are just some cheap ones. Um, let's see, walk around to the front. Like I said, it's on a four inch rough country lift here. It has some ditch lights, the same ones that are in the back. Nothing too fancy, we're pretty simple at the moment. Um, I can pop the hood, it's, it's nothing too exciting, <laughs> but we'll let you guys check it out. Yeah, just starting off, just starting off. We got lots to do. Yeah, my list is really, really long for this truck and eventually it will all be done, but everything that's fun costs money in this world. So that's where we're at. All right, so here's the engine bay. Like I said, I was told it was rebuilt. To me, this thing runs great. I do believe it's been rebuilt. I haven't had any issues mechanically. Um, the wiring is a little bit of a nightmare. The aftermarket stuff they added prior to me was pretty messy and then I added some stuff, but it's on the cleaner side. I will eventually be completely redoing all of this with like a distribution panel and stuff like that to just really clean it up and make it more reliable for us. I have to say it does pretty well though, as it is. I mean, yeah, it's, no, it's warm out here today and we've been, you know, as you can see, using it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've been having a lot of fun today. It's uh, actually, I yeah. haven't put it in four wheel drive once either and we've, we've done some, uh, I've definitely flexed it a couple of times. <laughs> like it's been doing some stuff. It's just eating it all up. And we'll show you guys the interior. I think it's one of the best parts of this vehicle. It's a little messy right now because it's full of us and our dogs, but it's just really, really clean on the inside. These are uh, Integra seats, fucking JDM Prelude, fuck. I think. Oh. Prelude seats. Yeah. See, even better. Prelude <laughs> seats. Um, I will eventually be getting PRP daily drivers. That's at least my plan at the moment. But the interior is in great shape. It has a brand new carpet in it that we put in. It came with when we bought it, there was no carpet in it. So yeah, I bought that really kit. There's some really nice insulation underneath too. So it's, it's pretty quiet considering. Yeah, yeah um, we bought that kit from Rock Auto and just, it was a direct fit and it took a whole day to be honest. It's pretty <laughs> time consuming, but it's not hard. It just takes a lot of time to put carpet in. Um, and then the back here, um, there's a custom area for the, the subs and then we will be adding um, a full sub actually to it and then cleaning all that up eventually too. Yeah, right we're gonna now. do a little platform back there for the doggos. Yeah, make it a little dog spot. And uh, yeah, so this is our tent. This tent we've actually had I think for like three years now. Yeah. We got it like pretty recently after we started dating. I've always wanted one and I just like went for it. It was right before the prices of everything went up. I paid like 1200 bucks for the Smitty Built Gen 2 XL brand new from Four Wheel Parts. I love this tent. Yeah, it's great. It's dark on the inside. It uh, repels the rain really well. There's lots of air vents. Um, and, and yeah, we really love it. The price point, I, this one obviously does take more setting up than the basic ones that you see that are pretty common right now, like the eye campers and such that have the hydraulic lifts. This one is full, like you lift it out, you extend your shades if you want them, all that stuff. But we have it down. We went camping in Montana for 10 days with this on the top of our Sequoia. And we were taking it, up, setting it up and taking it down every day because we were on the road. And we got it down to like, it takes both of us like 10 minutes, completely sealed up to completely open and done. Yeah. So it's really not that bad. And the trade-off, like what we get out of it is completely worth it because this tent is the nicest tent I've ever slept in best i've ever slept camping yeah there's a memory foam mattress that's in it you know built in obviously and then um we keep some blankets in there and it folds up just fine they're thinner blankets just, just yeah we case, just have but... like a sheet like we have like a bed basically set up in there with everything except for the pillows and we just fold it in with it we wash it probably you know every couple of weeks or something but that's what we do and it also makes it just that much better of a bed it's easy throw your pillows up there and you're done pretty much yeah and I want to also like quick note on every product that we're going over, whether we're praising about it, hating on it, whatever it is, we're not sponsored by anybody. We're not affiliated by anybody. All these opinions are hundred percent our opinions. We're not getting paid to say anything or paid to not say anything. So uh, yeah, we, we purchased everything that we're, we're looking at and talking about today. Full price or if it was on sale, we haven't had like any sponsorships, any hookups with anybody or anything. We're just 
doing what we do yeah. and making videos about it now. But uh, give us a call if you want to... Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Something Check out these old about. buses. Uh, oh yeah, so this is where we came. They call it School Bus Alley. Uh, it's funny, we've actually tried to find this before, like two years ago together. And the coordinates that I kind of like roughly found online were this same valley, but basically the complete other side, which totally explains, stop eating the grass, <laughs> why we didn't find it. So I'm glad that we found it this time. Yeah, we found it this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back up a little more. There it is. So I know in the video, when I'm looking back on this, it looks like this is a pretty moderate hill and it doesn't really make sense why we're filming it and why I got out of the vehicle to go look at it instead of just going down it. But we had never been on this road before and it actually is really steep to the point when we actually drove up to the ledge of it initially, but you can't see um, over. So I couldn't see which way the road went after that point. So I wanted to get out and take a look at it and make sure I knew where the road was going so I can make sure that I go the right direction coming over that little hill there. And then the lower downhill was pretty steep as well, even though it was really short. The videos always make it seem way more mild than it is in real life.
these are the MGL mine ruins. Um, yeah, I believe that uh, it was owned by somebody else uh, before and then MGL or someone by that name or close to that name bought them um, and it was a tungsten mine. So we are here and the pups are out <laughs> and we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Uh, these hills behind us are pretty much um, cutting us off from Pyramid Lake. So Pyramid Lake is right on the other side. Good pull in, babe. Thanks. <laughs> Did it. So yeah, we're gonna go check these things out. kind of at the end of the day here at Pyramid Lake. It's a little windy. We were going to do kind of a closing video, but I think it's a little windy. Excited. We hope you are as well. Stay safe out there.